Hey, I'm John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're doing a review demo of the Electroharmonics Nano Pog. A lot of you might remember the original one, which is a little bit bigger, had maybe a few more sonic options, but I actually prefer this one. Number one, because it's small, and real estate on any pedal board is at a premium. So I like it's a tiny package. Also, it has three controls, and honestly, for a guy like me, and perhaps like many of you, that's all you need, not particularly co um, complicated. You've got an octave down, you've got an octave up, and then you have your dry signal, those controls. You have a silent switch, true bypassing, small metal package, and there's also a dry out. So if you only want the, you're running two stereo or two amps and you want the effect to go through only one amp, you've got that option as well. Before I show you more about it, let me show you everything in the signal chain. I'm playing my PRS David Grissom model. This is, I've had this guitar about 12 years, 13 years, something like that. Um, it has DiMarzio PAFs in that. Um, other than that, it's stock. I'm running an Astrobe cable directly into the POG. The POG is being uh, powered by its own proprietary power, which is 9.6 instead of the standard 9 volt. Um, I tried it on a different power supply, didn't hear any difference, but it comes with its own, so why not use it? I'm running directly out of that into a Mesa Boogie Lone Star amp. I'll be, I'm in the duty channel right now, which sounds like this, but I'll be in the clean channel as well. Sounds like that. We are miking it with the Royer R121 mic, and that's going into an FG Quartet and into Pro Tools. So basically, PRS, Pog, Mesa Boogie, Pro Tools. So when I came in, I had it on the dirty channel, and I had the sub octave right in the middle, the upper octave right in the middle, and the direct sound all the way up. And I really like that. I think that's a sweet spot, because you're hearing the initial guitar, and you're also getting these cool overtones and every single line sounds so fat i mean it's just if you're doing single lines on guitar this sounds big another thing this thing tracks amazingly quickly um the note that it's generating seems seems identical with the one I'm playing, which is impossible, but it seems really fast. It's pretty cool. So let's experiment a little bit. I'm going to try taking the dry signal out and you can kind of hear what it does without that. It's a neat, almost kind of organy sound. I find that the high cuts a little bit better than the, than the low, a little too much for my taste. So I'm gonna turn the high down just a, a taste. Here we go, and this is in a cleaner setting. Almost like a church pipe organ, right? Really cool. So that's a really cool effect, but it's not particularly guitarish. It's more like organ or whatever. To me, it sounds more like keys. But if we bring in the dry signal, let's try it right in the middle. Uh, then I think that's I don't, kind of more moving for me. Amazing how long it holds those notes, right? I mean, the sustain is just kind of forever. And those overtones aren't very guitarish, but they're just cool. Mm -hmm. 
And do you hear that almost kind of light chorusing on the on the initial signal? Sounds like a little bit. And it just sustains forever. Very cool. Um, let's try this. I'm told you can get kind of a 12 string sound of it. I wasn't completely convinced, but it's a cool tone, although not exactly 12 stringy. If we bring the bass down and the octave up a bit and the initial volume, dry volume all the way up. Let's see what we get. Again, not really 12 stringy, but very cool, a very cool thing unto itself. Now, if you bring up the high octave alone, uh, take out the bottom, it can be a pretty baffling thing to do during solos. Like if you're playing along, you say you're, I don't know, doing some kind of, you know, fast rock thing. <laughs> and you're soloing along and it's getting perhaps kind of a monotonous hit this baby and then bring it up in the next stratosphere it really is interesting <laughs> So it's a pretty cool effect, you know, suddenly stomp on that in your solo, play the same thing you've been playing, and it sounds more energetic, or like you're taking up with the next level. Dig that. Uh, although, I do find the high a little harsh up there, so I, my tendency is to run it down a bit. Nonetheless, though, I dig it all the way up. Now let's get into the bottom end. Let's talk some big bottoms. Here it is all by its lonesome. Pretty cool. It sounds like um, kind of like a bass player playing weird polyphonic stuff. Maybe one of my favorite settings is a more subtle one. Have your direct all the way up and the sub octave and the octave, oh, I don't know, like around there, say 11 o'clock. Is that right? Uh, it's just, it's, it's interesting because it, it becomes a lot more subtle, doesn't really, you don't really hear the effect. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's in there, but it's not overwhelming and can be a little baffling to people listening. Like, how's he doing that? See, I love that. It's just like a fat tone, but you don't really know what's causing it. I mean, if I was listening, I wouldn't really figure it out. I'd just think big tone. And I've also found that that um, that's just naked in the room, just a guitar. If you're playing that with a track, it might be really subtle. So pretty cool. Pretty cool to have like a secret, secret weapon like that that gives you a richer tone 
and nobody can really figure out how you do it. Anyway, that's my take on it. So those are the basics of the Electroharmonix Nano Pog. Uh, to read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook. We got great gear geekery going up every minute, even every minute, but several times a day. And we also have our YouTube channel, Premier Guitar. Check that out, subscribe. We'll keep you up to date on all the cool new gear that's out there. This is John Bollinger, till next time. forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.